What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI Fan TV. Bit of an impromptu video today, just kind of jumping on quickly after the matches that happened this evening. Wow, just after finishing the uh, Shamrock Overs game there and what an end to that one. Um, amazing, amazing night, a famous, famous evening. That's going to go down in the history books I feel. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough to know where to start. I think we will have to start of course on a on a sour note um, with Sligo Rovers, of course, the one downside of the evening is that they obviously were facing a huge uphill battle travelling to Norway to face Viking. Uh, always going to be a very, very difficult game, but it just got off to the worst possible start. Going 2-0 down in the first 10 minutes just doesn't get any worse than that, and that kind of set the tone then for the evening. 5-0 down in the second half, David Carley pulled one back, just obviously a consolation goal. Um, looking towards next week, it's 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 not going to happen. Like they are, they are gone, and um, they are gone from the competition. Unfortunately, um, obviously, you're thinking oh, a huge uphill battle. Maybe they can they can pull off a miracle, but it's just, just no hope. Um, even looking at Shamrock Rovers after their first leg against Ludogorets, lost three nil, um, and even they put on a brilliant performance in the second leg, and still were uh, still fell short. So there's no hope. Four goal deficit is just too much to overcome. They needed to just have it within kind of a goal or two to give them some sort of a hope in the showgrounds, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Um, but listen, they can take the positives from the European campaign overall. Um, obviously beating Motherwell twice was a fantastic achievement and two famous victories that they can keep with them now. And they can be proud of their accomplishments in Europe so far, but the attention must now turn to their league form. They've been this has kind of been coming a little bit, you feel, obviously losing to UCD at home 2 0, losing to Wexford in the Cup. They've been kind of losing to Ballot Town at home as well in the Europa League as well. So this result possibly could have been coming a little bit, uh, given other results that we've seen so far. So uh yeah, it's, it's a really disappointing one for Sligo tonight. But listen, they go again next week. The fans should get behind them, should be proud of them. Sligo have plenty of positives to take from the European campaign as a whole. Made a few bob as well. And yeah, they can hopefully leave the competition with their heads held high next week. But on to the more positive news. Um, we'll start off in Bulgaria. St. Patrick Athletic faced up against CSKA Sofia. And this one felt like it was going to be a very, very difficult game for the Saints. And it was at times. They had to kind of dig in. But they defended really, really well throughout the 90 minutes kept their shape brilliantly and Tim Canty has gotten stick this season for um, a lot of on a lot of occasions for certain results and kind of pats his inconsistency at times and stuff as well but he has to get a lot of credit tonight and um, he set the team up perfectly they performed really really well and yeah um, Tim Clancy deserves all the plaudits this evening not all the plaudits but the majority of the plaudits tonight because he set that team up perfectly uh, great game plan great strategy and they pulled off a fantastic, fantastic win in Sofia. Um, Serge Atakai with the 87th minute goal. Shocking defending by CSK. Sofia, by the way, a header back, a short header back. But Serge Atakai, you can just see his pace. He's going to offer Pat so much now moving forward. His first goal for the Saints, and what a time to get it. 87th minute, uh, rounds the keeper and slots it home and celebrates in front of the travelling fans, which is great to see as well. Fair play to all the fans travelling out. Uh, it's a tough trip out to Bulgaria. Fair play to all them um, making that, that long trip. But yeah, amazing scenes at the end. But Pats were, were absolutely more than due that win like they had a couple of chances Owen Doyle will be disappointed that they've done better with a chance he had in the box a couple of different occasions as well like Barry Cotter was very very good in the night put a couple of really good balls into the box and gave them that physical presence on that right hand side so yeah Pat, Pat's um, brilliant brilliant result and it all to play for now next week it's still a huge it's only half time by the way in this a lot of, lot of football still to be played in this tie against Sofia uh, only one goal in it of course so it can easily be overturned um, but yeah come back to the Tallis Stadium now next week I have my tickets already make sure to go get yours if it's not sold out already but yeah going to be a brilliant brilliant game in the Tallis Stadium next Thursday evening I can't wait for that and hopefully Pat's can do it once again and secure their place in the playoff of the Europa Conference League and um, facing off against either Basel or Bromby. I think Basel, Basel lost that game. I think Bromby actually beat them 1-0 in the first leg. But yeah, I'll play for it there as well. But yeah, hopefully Pats can get over the line. Um, but yeah, still, whatever, regardless of whatever happens, it was a famous, famous night for the Saints and a fantastic victory. Serge Atikai's backstory as well, absolutely incredible. Make sure to go check out Sokko's article. He did a he did a piece on it. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. And finally, evil prevails at the Tallis Stadium as Shamrock Rovers um, beat FC Scuppy by three goals to one. Um, 
obviously Scuppy made the kind of headlines off the pitch before the game um, releasing a statement giving out about not flying into Dublin Airport and I think they flew into was a Shannon or something um, but yeah I, like it's it's the way it is at the moment. There would have been a, it was a nightmare in Dublin Airport at the moment, so they'd probably be better off flying in somewhere else. And I think they only flew in the day before as well, so they should have been better prepared and flew, gave themselves that extra day potentially as well. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just screams of kind of setting your excuses up and kind of trying to rally the players and stuff. But it's just it's, it's a bit desperate. They aren't on as if as if Shamrock Rovers after doing them in when I think Shamrock Rovers had to fly out a knock or something like that, didn't they? Um, a week or two ago as well so it's just the way it is in Dublin and Ireland at the moment and they should have done their their homework and prepared for that eventuality so yeah no no sympathy for them on that one and their statement definitely was it definitely raised a few laughs uh, across LOI Twitter and um, yeah very little sympathy for FC Scuppy but obviously decent side North and North Macedonian side definitely created some opportunities and, and the tie isn't over by any means but uh, of course that, that goal in the 97th minute could prove to be so so crucial Gary O'Neill curling one top bins such a beautiful pinpoint shot uh, into the top corner an amazing hit from the midfielder um, doesn't score many but when he does they're lovely strikes and as proven on this occasion, uh, an amazing goal from Gary O'Neill. And having that two-goal lead heading over to North Macedonia could be absolutely crucial to get to the Europa League playoff um, playoff game for the group stage. So, yeah, huge result for Shamrock Rovers. Um, an amazing night for them. But big shout-out to Alan Manis, who made a good few really, really big saves in that second half in particular as Guppy kind of put the pressure on. 40 years of age. Uh, he's doing bits isn't he he's doing well like we've kind of said it on the channel a few times that they need to look to replace him and stuff but he's still going strong and deserves a lot of credit for his performance tonight Alan Manis um, really really put in a really good shift and a couple of excellent saves as I said but yeah massive result for Shamrock Rovers can they um, pull it off next week and kind of just see out the tie let me know down in the comments below but yeah guys what a night an incredible evening of football and as Rory Jennings from the kickoff would say what a delectable medley of football in splendor it has been today guys thank you so much for tuning in and yeah do drop a like on the video down below if you did enjoy and make sure to subscribe I'll have some content coming out I think on Saturday we're gonna have like a tier list video ranking um, how each side did in the summer transfer window from the Premier Division so make sure to stay tuned for that but a lot more com content coming and the European adventure is not over just yet and hopefully it won't be over for a very very long time um, but yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in a bit